Peter Parker has always been a complex character. Spider-Man stories have drawn in a large audience because of the relatability factor and the emotional depth that Spidey stories build on. After all, you don't see Superman with a curfew. There's one story in particular I want to discuss today because after thinking about it, I realized it was the perfect Peter Parker story. Spider-Man Blue is a six-issue miniseries written by Jeff Loeb and illustrated by Tim Sale. The main focus of the story is Peter Parker and Gwen Stacy's relationship. The narrative is told through narration by Peter Parker talking to Gwen Stacy into a voice recorder. He is aware Gwen will never hear his words, but he finds some sort of emotional resort in letting out his feelings into a voice recorder. The story takes place during the classic run by Stan Lee and John Romita Sr. The art by Tim Sale is very reminiscent of the Lee Romita run, but it's unique in its own way. Many panels from the book are beautiful and have such sadness lurking beneath them. It recreates famous moments such as the This is the last face you'll ever see moment from The Amazing Spider-Man number 40 while putting twists on them. Spider-Man Blue really gets Peter Parker right as a character because of the theme of the choice between right and easy. Peter has to miss out on a housewarming party with Gwen Stacy, Harry Osborn, and Mary Jane Watson because of an encounter with the new vulture known as Blackie Drago. Yes, the vulture attacks Spider-Man first, but he still misses the party. We see Harry and Peter slowly become friends after Peter visits Norman at his hospital bed. Eventually, Harry makes an offer to Peter of a rent-free apartment, with Harry as his roommate. Harry is interested in Mary Jane Watson, and when he learns Peter and MJ aren't dating, Harry takes the opportunity to ask her out. Peter has trouble finding a balance between himself, Gwen, and MJ. He has an obligation to take MJ with him on his date with Gwen, as a favor to Aunt May. At the beginning of the story, it is revealed that every Valentine's Day, Spider-Man leaves a rose at the spot of Gwen Stacy's death in her memory. The night Gwen Stacy died was a game-changer in the world of comics. A proof that heroes aren't perfect. They make mistakes. Some minor and some incredibly significant, not only hurting their lives, but others as well. Peter really loves Gwen, but he doesn't know how to deal with his feelings for her. It is a story about loss and grieving. Peter understands he can never see Gwen again. He knows she will never hear his words, but he still talks to her. He talks to her because it brings him joy to remember a love that once was, a memory that brings feelings of sadness and depression, anxiety and anger, but an immense joy, a sad nostalgia. Peter Parker knows the consequences of being Spider-Man, he knows his most apparent faults, his biggest regrets, his worst mistakes. He does his best every day to live up to his own merit that he has set for himself after his Uncle Ben passed away. Peter Parker as a character has the ability to forgive. He just feels he cannot forgive himself, for Uncle Ben. For Gwen Stacy, for every single person who was at the wrong place at the wrong time and was harmed as a result of his own clumsiness, he hides his face under the mask to keep those who he loves safe, so he won't have to deal with the pain and sorrow ever again. His relationship with Gwen was a high point in his life, but he is content with where he is now, with Mary Jane, moved on from his once kindling flame for Gwen Stacy, but never forgetting a thing that once was. Spider-Man Blue not only gets Spider-Man right as a character, but Peter Parker too, and understands the struggles he knows he must endure in order to be Spider-Man. Flash Thompson, once a bully to Peter, grows as a character. He uses an interaction with Spider-Man to reevaluate his purpose in life. He signs into the United States Army to help, to be someone's hero, to be able to make a change. Anyone can wear the mask, but it is in one's ability to help society for the greater good that good and bad diverge. Even when things become dire, even when it means one has to give up what they want the most, a true hero, even if they aren't able to do good, always does their best to help others. In other words, with great power comes great responsibility. Kids like Henry need a hero. Courageous, self-sacrificing people. Setting examples for all of us. Everybody loves a hero. People line up for them, cheer them, scream their names, and years later they'll tell how they stood in the rain for hours just to get a glimpse of the one who taught him to hold on a second longer. I believe there's a hero in all of us that keeps us honest, gives us strength, makes us noble, and finally allows us to die with pride, even though sometimes we have to be steady and and give up the thing we want the most. Even our dreams. Spider-Man did that for Henry and he wonders where he's gone. He needs him.